we talked about the digital aspects, uh, the photoshops and, and stuff. But I think for me, um, and I'm sorry, Darren, you've heard this before many times. <clears throat> um, digital platforms <laughs> are great. I think that they've given uh, a lot of people access to photography, you know, mobile phones, Instagram. They have given people a lot of access to photography and raised an interest. But on the flip side, I think that to see images on a small screen, uh, and of course, everybody wants likes, right? So they will, they will cater and tailor their images towards that small screen. Uh, what basically we end up with is uh, very two-dimensional pictures that are read very well, very easily when they're small. Um, and all of us from earlier generations, um, sorry, Grace, yes, we are old. Um, from the early generations, we remember seeing pictures in the photo book where you, know, you, you, you take out the A1 uh, or uh, A3 size or A4 size book, and you look at the, all the details in the image and you can pour over one photograph for you know, a few minutes just to look at all the little individual things happening. It doesn't happen anymore. So uh, you can, you can still shoot it, but when you put it on Instagram, people are gonna look at it as what's that and they're just gonna move on. The attention span uh, is 1.8 seconds. Yeah, yeah very much go. less. Uh, so my biggest worry about that is that uh, this, the, the younger generation will have a, a stunted view of photography in the sense that they don't see things big they see things small and they see things simple. So they, 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 they're they missing out on that. That's not to say that they don't have their own visual language. Um, but, you know, I mean, I think that it takes all sorts. You, you need the, the easy reads and you need the complex reads. So to me, that's the bigger scary thing of, of mm. the, the modern digital. But then again, thing. Brian, like, you know, it's it's just like you said, right? I picked up on it. It's like a stunted view, a stunted view of your know, visual aspect, you know, Sad to say, it's not just the visual aspect, it's their life in general. It's, they don't read paragraphs, man. They read, they read like a cluster of captions. Words. They read captions yeah. with no verbs, with some <laughs> little uh, emojis. But still they communicate and they seem to do it quite well and very quickly and you know, you, they still get the well, word yes out. No. Right? Yes a, and no, I think, I think it's nothing like, you can't get information from phrases. I'm sorry. No, you can't. You, you right? need a lot of phrases. You know so the, the attention pool. span is like, wait, my, my, my kid, my kid, my, he can't concentrate. Yeah, because you know, you're feeding the guy like emojis and phrases. Mm. Not, you know, so yeah. like the, the visual part of it, that's, that's just a symptom, you know, right? They can't bite onto something, sit down, read a whole page or a paragraph, right? How many of these guys, like you, you put a six, a six paragraph, in the Instagram, you think they read it, honestly? Yeah. <laughs> they just look, okay, swipe, 1.5 yeah. seconds, boom, you're gone. But that's our society now, right? Mm. It's fast, it's quick, a lot of noise. Like, like, like you say, yeah. they don't pour over a picture, right? They don't pour over a picture. That's why to me, movies are great or movies are great. You, you have to sit there in that dark room, right? When Grace, when you do that scene, they have to look at every single corner. It's that one scene that's not going to move and they got to eat this stuff up. It's like force feed this guy, right? Mm -hmm. You know, and you switch everything Actually, off in that room. Yeah. Actually, yeah, it's, it's the, this attention span thing is, is threatening our, uh, the filmmaker's livelihood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because, <laughs> you know, we're all in trouble. Because <laughs> um, making a film right now um, is, is so much harder um, just because of this attention span um, So do you cut your scenes problem. up? Huh? I mean, you don't have long scenes in there? You do like, like a commercial, like three second scenes and you're done? <laughs> yeah, well, I know exactly like what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, some, Grace, sometimes I'll have to do it. Yeah. Like I have to don't pick out a shot them, because Grace. it's too don't long. Give to them. Yeah. Don't give but in to them. But it's commercial. <laughs> no, man, Grace, don't give in to them. Let the guys so sit we, in that movie cinema. I, 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 recently, <laughs> I recently made a documentary film and, and our opening sequence is one minute long. Like one. Oh, you lost shot. a lot of money there, Aaron. And <laughs> but but you know it's it's a, it's a documentary, so uh, I, I we were slightly worried that the some people might not last the opening scene, but we went ahead anyway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is is a is the documentary out? Yeah, it's called While You Were Sleeping. Uh, oh, okay. And uh, if you Google it on YouTube, it's it's there. Uh, okay. Yeah. Did you get a lot of comments about your one minute opening? Actually, uh, maybe my audience is older because uh, most of the comments that I got feedback from people was that the whole film was too short. So I, I think that is a good thing. <laughs>